is um, uh, a unique story because it is a second production. And a lot of people don't know that it's really a second production that's more important to a playwright than a world premiere. All theaters want to do a world premiere, but there, you can't make a second production sound very sexy, right? When I say, we're doing a second production, it's not entirely as um, alluring as saying we're doing a world premiere. But from the playwright's perspective, the world premiere is the first time, right, the play is ever fully produced. And that in itself is so hard for a playwright ever to have. It's so expensive to produce one of these productions. People would be shocked to hear how expensive it is to produce a production. Why? Well, for the same reason that it's expensive to, to, to run a company, right? It's all dependent on the number of people. So a play is more expensive, right, if there's more characters in it. Actors get paid because they're professionals. They get paid on a weekly salary. It's a unionized profession. So the more of them there are, the more expensive a piece is. And when people say, what are you bringing to Gable Stage? I kind of shudder. We're not bringing anything to Gable Stage. We're making plays. Every element of what you see on stage is handcrafted. That's the beauty of the whole thing. And that's why it will always be an expensive art form because it's all based on manpower and craftsmanship. Not to mention the price of wood has gone up, you know, four times. And you can't hire someone for $7.50 anymore. It's like $20 an hour. So when you're watching a play, from a theater company, right? So we're not a presenting house. We're not like the Arsh Center. We're not having touring shows come through. We're a theater company. And a theater company is a group of artists, right? Who band together to tell stories together, right? We are a theater company that makes work for and by our community.